Okay, in 1440, Johannes Gutenberg created the printing press, and since then, books have been a major part of her life. Let's hear a shout out from anybody who has ever read a book and thought, I could do a better job than that Yoho who wrote this one. Everybody has read a book and think they can do a better job. Most of us want to write a book. In fact, USA Today did a study a couple years ago and found out that 82% of all Americans want to write a book, and yet most of us never actually get around to writing a book. We start those dreams early, but those dreams get crushed. In fact, I wanted to be an author when I was a kid, and my eighth grade English teacher, who I will not name, Mrs. Nicolaitis, told me I wasn't a good enough writer and that I could never be a published author. But you have to hang out with people who are gonna support you. I was on an annual boys weekend out trip with my two best friends from college. and They told me, you know what? Writers don't wish they write a book. Writers write. Writers just sit down and write and figure it out. So if you wanna write a book, if your dream in your heart is to be a published author, I say go for it because nothing is better than holding your book in your hand after it comes out. It's really, really cool. So if you want to do it, don't stop until it's done. But the first thing you need to do is you need to know why you want to write the book. There are as many reasons why you want to write a book as there are people in this room who would like to write a book. There's no wrong answers. You have to know in your heart what the reason is because over 200,000 books, and that number is rising year over year, books are published in the United States. So the competition is fierce. If you don't know why you're writing your book, you'll never get your book done. Not every book is gonna be a bestseller. Not everybody is gonna be on Oprah's couch. But once you've written a book, your credibility in your industry is forever higher. In fact, if you or your boss wrote a book on your industry, imagine what your clients would think about your company. They'd say, wow, they literally wrote the book on it. Traditional publishing is a broken model. Now, it doesn't mean that it's not there for a purpose, it still works, but there are lots of ways that you can now get a book published and get it out there. You don't have to imagine going to New York and getting a publisher. You can self-publish the book. There are lots of things you can do. You can use print on demand. What you really need to do is start. So you have to have a plan, you have to create an outline, you have to know what it is you want to say. What is it that people will be wowed when they hear you? And then you have to find the time. I was very fortunate in writing my first book because my now eight-year-old, she was two in this photo, Kate never slept through the night once until she was three years old, which meant I didn't sleep through the night. So I had so much time to get my first draft done. And that first draft is the most important thing you can do to write a book. It's vomit copy. You just throw up all over the page. You get your ideas out there. You get it done. If you are a perfectionist, get over it. Get your first draft done. If you're a blogger, this is great because you can use your blog to write the first draft of your book. Long blog posts, like Jason mentioned, strung together, suddenly become chapters in a book. Then there are two things you need to do to get the book done. The first one is you need feedback, you need an editor, you need a hundred of your friends to tell you what's great and what sucks about your book. Do not go to your mommy, your mommy's gonna tell you it's great. The second thing you need to do is you need to get a fabulous cover designed. You need to be in love with the cover that you pick. Do not settle, do not let anybody talk you into a cover that you don't like because if you don't love it, you will never love your book and you need to love your book because selling a book is so much harder than writing a book. I say it's hard to write a book, but it is a thousand times harder to promote and sell your book. And a bookstore is a crappy place to sell a book because there are so many books when you walk into Barnes and Noble. So you have to be out there promoting, 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 and looking for ways to get in front of people so that you can tell them about your book and why it's worth reading. So you need to do publicity, you need to do PR, you need to do book signings. And I'll tell you, you don't sell a lot of books at a book signing. This was at South by Southwest last year. I think I sold a total of 12 books. But I will tell you that a lot of people find the credibility that, wow, you did that. So make it happen. If your dream is to write a book, I hope you look back on this five minute talk and say, Tom, you inspired me. I wrote my book, but I went into it with my eyes open that it wasn't easy and it would take me time to promote it. Thank you, Tom.